the television course is such a good place to have down here because you've got so much more art that is actually down here than I first anticipated and then you've got all the scenery and it just makes your films look so beautiful that I actually think that the location that Falmouth University is actually positioned in actually puts it quite far in front of other universities. We've done a range of different things from multi-camera and single camera drama. I've just got back from America and I've just filmed my documentary over there in New Orleans um, and it was a lot of planning, a lot of preparation, a lot of risk assessments but in the end we, we still managed to do it. This was a film that I did last year that went on a festival run so it was in Seattle uh, and then it was screened at Leicester Square in London and won an award for, I think it was best student short film at the, at the Horror Film Festival in London. I got the insane privilege, now thinking back on it, to work on a feature film set. And again, that was a fantastic experience, seeing what it's really like, what it's absolutely going to be like is, is really useful, and that's something that, of course, I couldn't have done without it, really. They only announced yesterday like the RTS nominations and like something like 12 out of the possible 15 are from this uni. My reaction when I came on the open day was that their facilities are really, really great. They had these state-of-the-art cameras, this massive gallery, and it just made me really, really excited to actually start filming and being part of that. We've obviously done the Spilling the Beans, which is a sitcom, which is quite different, which is something that not a lot of people would really get into, but it's something that I've actually personally really, really enjoyed. And the buzz of students running a whole student production with no tutors, and it is just us. It, it just blew me away. I, I was there with my jaw like, on the floor, like, wow, you know, they, they really do all that. You know, it's, it's exactly what I was looking for, basically. I really wanted to go to a place that was very creative, not only the university, but the area that it was in as well. One thing I'm most impressed with was the inclusivity. Being hard of hearing myself, I was concerned when I came here about not being able to communicate as well, or um, like sound facilities or things like that. And the staff have been really understanding towards that, especially having other people with hard of hearing on my course too. So the tutors, uh, they're all kind of vastly experienced within the industry, or they're still in the industry to an extent. Um, so they can br they can bring you the experience as if they just come off set, but then also they have in some cases you know 20, 30 years in the industry, so they know how it all works. It feels like it's experience the exact experience you need to go into the industry. If you see what I mean. The tutors have brought good industry contacts in. We quite frequently have guest lectures come in and stuff like that. So it's really good for you to make contact with these people. You know, they tell you what it's going to be like going into the industry. There's a really good mixture of different skill sets from different lecturers and even the technicians and the stores, they're always around, you can always pop over, ask them questions. Every time you've got a technical difficulty or a problem, you know who to go to and they can just resolve it so quickly and they really try and do their best for you and get the most state-of-the-art cameras that are used in the industry, so it's really trying to train you to use those cameras um, as well as all the sound equipment and then we've got a new newly built green screen room as well so that was really handy. It's a really good very comfortable environment for also a very productive one too. It's it's quite inspiring seeing what has come from this course where it's like oh yeah well if that's where they are now and they did what I did then you know what's stopping me basically.